In this video I'll show you different ways to import and play music using iTunes. The first way to import music is off of a CD and once you insert the CD into your computer it'll show up over here on the side and depending on what preferences you have selected under edit preferences the advanced importing tab uh, will determine what iTunes will do when you insert a CD. I have mine set to ask to import and what file format you have it set at. Mine is MP3 in this case and under general this is the iTunes music folder location where your music will go once it is copied to iTunes. So then with the CD selected I can either hit the import CD down here or when I insert a CD it asks me if I want to import it because that's what I have my settings as and I can hit yes or you can right click on a file and go to convert to mp3 and it'll continue down the list once you select that. The CD I have in here is time in a word by yes so if I go to my music and search for it Uh, you will see that it shows up here in my music folder. The other way is, another way to import music is to buy it off of the iTunes store. Here is uh, one that iTunes is featuring and has for free this week. So I'm going to go ahead and hit get song. And I'm going to have to enter my information. To get it, but it will purchase it and download it for me then. And once it's done downloading, I can do the same thing with that. Go to my music library, and it was by an artist called Duffy. So I can search Duffy, and that'll show up in my music folder as well. The last way would be if you have a file that you got by some other legal means. <clears throat> this one is commentary for the movie Fountain that I got off of Darren Aronofsky, uh, the director, his website. He had it available for download. And there you can just drag and drop it right in. And because of the settings I have set up here, um, copy files to iTunes music folder when added to library. It makes a copy of it in the iTunes library. Still leaves the same one here. So again in my select having music selected if I search commentary it'll show up in here as well. And no matter how you get it into your music library if you right click on it and go to get info you can edit uh, a lot of different things about the file and it'll show you where it's located as well. Now playing music, uh, if you just want to play right from your music, the entire library, having music selected here, you can um, just double click on a song and it'll start it and continually play it unless you have one of these selected. This would be the shuffle on or off. Um, it's on now, so it's going to shuffle through all the songs that I have showing in here right now. It's my entire uh, library. So I'll turn that off. And also the uh, repeat. It's off right now. Repeat all the songs. It'll play through every single song and then go back to the beginning. Repeat just one song or off again. And the other way I could play <coughs> music... Um, having the entire library selected is narrow it down. If I only want to hear Daft Punk, um, I can search Daft and it narrows my uh, library down to just the two Daft Punk albums I have. You can also play with playlists. I <clears throat> created one here called Rock Out. It's empty. But if I go to my music and select this Crystal Method album, I can grab the entire album and drag it and it shows me that I have six selected and just drop it in there. I can also just drop uh, individual songs in there 
or if you hold in control and select songs, uh, you can select multiple and drag them and drop them into there. Or you can use the shift shortcut key as well. Uh, you could select the first track, hold and shift, select the last track, and it'll select everything in between. And you could drop that in there as well. Otherwise, you can <coughs> create smart playlists by holding in the shift key. And this icon down here turns into a gear looking thing. And if you click on that, you can set it up by matching certain rules. Here I'll go to uh, Genre, and I'll leave it as Contains, and I'll put Electronic, so I can create a dance um, soundtrack for me. And you can check these boxes if you want to limit it to a certain number of songs, or match only checked items that are in your library. And you can have live updating checked, so if in the future I have more electronic music I want added to it, it'll automatically do it. So I hit OK, and it um, generates all the music in there. So again, with the playlist, if I <coughs> double-click this to get it started and playing, it'll play through all the songs I have in my playlist. Hopefully that helped out. There are a few settings under playback that you can um, change for the playback playback of the music. They're pretty self-explanatory. But otherwise, I hope that helped out, and you can check out more tutorials on ClassicTriple.com. Thanks.